What gives you the right to declare that you're the main man in this music business? Huh? Who asked you? This is Nick Baby Love. Whatever that noise was in the background, are you kidding me? Don't even get me started already. You want to talk about my friends over there at probably the foremost radio station in the country, WEDR 99.1 FM, my man DJ Khaled on the air. Of course, the whole sh ship's run by Jerry Russian and just the whole crew, Shelby Russian, my man Derek Baker, as his famous quote is, oh my God, don't get Salerno started already. So who asked you? Are you like kidding me? Forget about it. I got beach. This is a spotlight on who asked you. Spotlight on answering the question. The one percenters. Spotlight on the one percenters. What does that mean? That's right. We're not talking about money because money comes and goes. We're talking about knowledge. We're talking about chutzpah. We're talking about people skills. We're talking about experience. The music business covers a wide variety of areas from sweeping a floor to fetching coffee, engineering, vocals, singing, writing, publicity, driving the tour bus, and on and on and on. Spotlight on Nick Baby Love Music Inc. Spotlight on the one percenters. It's like Star Wars, good versus evil. I'll give an example of the show coming up. And as I said in other stuff, I am giving back. You want to roll with me? You want to have a shot in a business? Because if you know me, anybody I've ever touched over the years, has done really, really well, if they listen. And that's the biggest thing, FT and a text, follow through. Listening, nobody listens. I can tell you what, they're listening here. What studio we at doing this? MCMG, Magic City. Bingo, with the Diaz brothers. And my man, Eddie Mix. Everybody from Pitbull to Timberland, Timberland et cetera, et cetera. I can name a million names coming through this bad boy. Probably the best solid state logic board in the world are in the top 10 for sure. Absolutely. You'll see their website. What is their website? We'll give it to you. Who asked you? There you go. Who asked you? That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to give you a sample, a little taste, a teaser of, because I'm going to be doing commentary and whatever's on my mind. Because obviously, oh, when you talk about volunteers, Forget about it. Are you kidding me? Who asked you? Help me with that tweeter stuff, the, the, the tweeting and tweeter, whatever. Tweety Bird. You follow me? Help me with that. It's Baby Love Salerno, at Baby Love Salerno. Because I'm coming out of my treatment and I want to give back, that's where it's at. Who asked you? That's the title. Let me give you one example of who asked you. You can't buy respect for a million dollars. I called out a few names. Yes, Jill Strada, if you're out there, Power 96 and the whole crew that's there, you follow me? And Felix Sama, please. One of the greatest dads and greatest personalities in history over there at Clear Channel, doing Mia La Mega, and of course, 93.9. He's bringing dance music back by himself to start with and everybody in South Florida, because this is the number one breakout market in the world. It always will be. It's got the weather. Every convention in the world is here. So we're talking about who asked you, because that's just another famous quote I was saying. That's right, who asked you? Well, you know what? The bottom line is I get the track record, and I've made more mistakes than anybody, and I'm giving back. And I'll give you one example that's on my mind. One of the first things I'm going to do is I can't even think of his name right now. You follow me? So you can edit that out, right? Okay? Yeah. I, I didn't get a yes. Yeah. Okay. Who asked you? As I'm showing you an example of what's coming up when the commentary is done and we have like a show 
And I got something to say. I'm not going to only just do Twitter. And I'm looking for people to help me. I'm looking for interns because this is about for right now, the next couple of years, or as long as I'm here, about giving back. So let me give you an example of what I would do, right? Kanye West. Who's your boy? Who asked you? That's right, Kanye West. When the person said what in the background, what, what, what did you say at the beginning when I said who asked you? Oh, what, make, what gives you the right to declare that you're the main guy in the music in the business? Bingo. Obviously, um, somebody with experience and personal knowledge and made more mistakes than anybody. You follow me? Do you have, have an understanding of what it is? to be a legend in the Haitian community, or be down with all my Latino brothers and sisters. Orale, Bato, Simon, Ese, Primo, to everybody. You know, or, you know, without me losing my train of thought here, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously you can edit that out. Spotlight on the one percenters. Who asked you? And the one percenters are explained like good versus evil. Like Star Wars. What one percent are you talking about? The elite group? The, the, the one percenters are the people like me that are an encyclopedia. Who asked you? Are you kidding me? Take a time out. I, I speak or not be heard. The point is. Why are you dancing around the question? Okay, the question is, the one percenters are people who get it. People who have broken an artist by themselves. Who have worked from scratch. Who have a suitcase with all the goodies in it. You follow me? Been on tour and worked with famous artists and whatnot. And who can answer a question. Who, if somebody gives them a track, what do you do with it? And you have a limited budget. How do you get it to radio? How do you get it to video? Who do you know? Who asked you? How do you do that? You better go with somebody with experience. You better go with somebody who's gonna not take your money from you, but deal, you, deal with you straight. Yes, it costs money to operate any business, but who asked you? And so, going back to, I was gonna talk about Kanye West. Well, Kanye West, guess what? At the end of the day, as this thing gets rolling, it's about me and you. Because you know what? For you to make it in a business, it takes people like me. And how do you know I didn't even work one of your records? You know what? Maybe I did it. Maybe I did. You know, maybe I'm a nobody. But the bottom line is you can't buy respect. And you can't go messing with country western singers or with my man. All right? You follow me? Because I respect whoever the president is. And you got to answer to somebody like me. So I will elaborate more, but guess what? I got some, something for you. You follow me? Because let's see how you long, let's see how long Kanye West lasts in the music business. And I know you've got a bigger format, you've got a bigger platform to deal with it, but you know what? Then don't bring any attention to me. Don't even watch this, whatever, because I will bring it. And that's an example to all you interns, whatever out there. What is your comment? What's a Twitter thing? Because everybody's going to comment on Twitter. And Twitter is off the chain. But what do you have to say? Does it make sense? Who do you know? Are you going to pay your dues? Are you going to do what you're going to do to make it happen? Or are you going to spin your wheels? And that's my biggest saying of all. You're going to spin your wheels and at the end of the day go round and round and get nothing done because I've seen them all come and go, and I'm still here. I'm still alive. I never asked who gave the honor, because this is the business we chose. I never asked anything of anybody, because God is always right as a wise man once said. And at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, you want to roll with Nick Baby Love, and you want to be part of a positive situation, this is harder than American Idol when this takes off and gets rolling. You won't even believe it. Because guess what? American Idol and all those shows are great, 
but they are not the music business because everybody's not going to have that opportunity. But you know what? Crazy things that happen. And as you read my book and all the stuff coming out, you'll see how we find the record in a back room somewhere, like peanut butter and jelly. My man Radoff called me 20 times. I didn't want to deal with that record. We put it out, dealt with my friends, Ted Lucas at Slip and Slide, etc., etc., and the rest is history, and that's still a whole soap opera to deal with. This is Nick Baby Love. Who asked you? Let me do another couple of takes. This is Nick Baby Love, CEO, CFO of Nick Baby Love Music Inc., giving back, working really, really hard, and trying to do the right thing despite being disabled. And you know what? At the end of the day, Nick Baby Love is saying one thing. Who asked you?